Well, we know what happens when kids are naturally little shit demons, but what is it that makes them this way? Commonly, it's the parents who are responsible for the upbringing of these little ankle biters. And with that, I give you my list of the top seven worst parents in fiction. To make the list, these mamas and papas have to just be the worst. They, have to, they can either be adoptive or biological, but they have to be bad enough to make the state want to snatch their children away faster than an Ethiopian kid does a Big Mac at McDonald's. When I say fiction, I mean anything from movies, television, literature, etc. And why the number seven? Because of Winn-Dixie. So without further ado, let's begin. Number seven, Frank and Monica Gallagher from Shameless, U.S. edition. Frank and Monica Gallagher are two people that really need counseling. The two are mentally unstable drug addicts that slowly leech the lives away from their children. Monica is a bipolar whack job that will rob her children blind just for another hit of X. And Frank is an asshole who will physically fight his children if they call him out on his nonsense. The reason they're so low on the list is because all of this could have probably changed in Season 6, but I wouldn't know. I'm not all caught up. Number 6. Talia al Ghul from DC Comics. The daughter of an eco-terrorist, Raish al Ghul, you know you won't be winning any Best Mom of the Year awards when you can't even be bothered to carry your child during their development. Talia is a woman that practically grew her son in an artificial womb, and trains him to be a master assassin with no social skills whatsoever. And, when things get tough, as they do with the terrorist, she didn't even want him anymore, just dumping the socially inept child with his equally mentally unstable father. She seems really unpleasant. Oh, she is. Number five, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Goku is a bad father. This point is driven home by his wife. Where Chi-Chi wants their children to study and be successful in life, Goku ignores all of this just so he can beat the hell out of them in the name of training. And even after his fifth or sixth death in the series, when he comes back to life, what would a normal person do? Well, normally a regular person would go and see their family, but nope. Goku decides to enter a fighting tournament, but afterwards he can barely be bothered to go and visit his wife and children, one of which he's never met before. On top of this, when his firstborn is a child, he puts an all-powerful object on top of his head to basically make him a target for every evil person in the galaxy. And what really just takes the cake is when your arch nemesis is a better father to your children than you are, your kids do not need you in their life. Number four, Homer Simpson from The Simpsons. Homer J. Simpson is a drunken slob that is too busy drinking to bother even teaching his son not to be a criminal, nurturing his daughter's intelligence and telling her to stop all that complaining, and acknowledge that his baby is possibly a genius. But instead, he drowns himself in duff beer and strangles his son because... F*** it. Marge, please tell us, why haven't you left this idiot yet? Number three. Mr. and Mrs. Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. These two are the most dim-witted, neglectful parents in the history of television parents. These two not only couldn't be bothered to raise their son, but completely blame him for their own misdeeds in life. Not to mention that they continually place him in the care of Vicky, who is the world's worst babysitter, but they ignore legal documents that say they legally have to spend more time with him and they have even stated that they wish they could have had somebody else as a child instead of him. That is cold. Number two, Craster from Game of Thrones. Originally, I was going to put Cersei and Jaime on this list, and then maybe Grandpapa Tywin, and hell, maybe even Stannis Baratheon, who let his daughter get burned alive in the name of a fire god. But Craster is a man who lives north of the Wall, marries his daughters, has children with them, and if those children are sons, he will sacrifice them to ice zombies without the slightest ounce of regret in order to maintain his power. So yeah, he's just, just a little bit worse. Now for a few honorable mentions who didn't quite make the list.
Number one, Lois and Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Oh boy, these two not only need their children taken away, but they need to be thrown in jail. Peter is an abusive drunk that beats and torments his family with his moronic antics, and Lois is a woman so unfit for parenthood that she's promiscuous, a drug addict, a kleptomaniac, and at one point actually encouraged her daughter to commit suicide. Their children are so messed up that it's unlikely they'll ever live normal lives, and if, if, Stewie, Meg, and Chris ends up being some sort of psychopathic lunatic in the future, it is entirely their fault. What the actual f**k? As a child, we look up to our parents, but sometimes they're those parents that just make the world worse with their children. I mean, really. Potential parents just use this as an example of how not to act. Do not maliciously beat your children, or neglect them, or for God's sakes, don't put them on a leash. Seriously, little Susie is not Foo-Foo the f***ing poodle. 